What's going on, man? As y'all can tell, it is nighttime out here, but it doesn't matter because we got adequate light, and I'm gonna bring y'all a dope car review. I'm gonna be linking up with my boy Nate over here at Mech Hike Ford off of I-10, the Katy Freeway, right next to Pluckers. If you don't know where this is and you're in the Houston area, even if you're not from the Houston area, you can still come down here, get you a nice Ford. But today we're gonna be going over the 2020 Ford GT. So if you are in the market for a vehicle, please hit up my boy Nate. I'll be introducing him later, but first let's get into this car review because I know y'all don't want to see my face and make sure you like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell at the top and comment down below on all the cars that you would like for me to review, test drive if I can, some cars I can't because they're too expensive and I'm not about to pay for none of them. Alright, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so this is my boy, Nate. Nate, what do we have here, bro? Right here, we have our 2020 GT Performance Package. Performance Package comes with the black rims. What's your, what's your aftermarket spoiler right over there? Not all Mustangs have them. This is just your regular 5.0 with the GT Premium. So walking around on this side, also, you can't miss the 5.0. You can't miss it at all. Right here, you have your lights down, down below with the horses. Come over here to your driver's side kind of start off you have your memory seating because everything is electric in this vehicle it's a little bit hard to tell but on your wording right here you have ambient light so ambient light you have your door handles that light your floorboard lights whatever color you want you can choose out a variety of colors and I'll show you how to do that here in a second so kind of hopping over here if you want to hop in so I do like the spoiler I like the GT the symbol it, it's a it's a cute little car it's a cute little car I've actually never really ridden in the Mustang. I've only been in the Chargers. I love the Chargers. I love the Dodges. But uh, I used to be a Do big Dodge and Chevy fan, but man, when I started selling Fords, it came, came, came a different story, I'll tell you that. So coming over here to the digital dash, which is the most attractive part about this vehicle right here. As you can see right now, this is kind of the sports mode gauge. If you go over you, to your different drive modes, you have your normal, sport, track, drag strip and your snow and wet so coming up coming over here to normal when you go to let's see here cluster uh, appearance you can change the drive mode so when you go to change the drive mode all you gotta do is go back we're gonna change it to sport this is normal this is sport here's track and then track is gonna be the same thing as drag strip and also you have adjustable steering. You have your sports steering, your comfort, and your normal. Choosing between those. Choose two over here. Going back up to over here, you have your different exhaust modes. You have your quiet, normal, sport, and track. Right now we're in sport, so if I was to rev it up, let me roll it on the windows real quick. Okay. Quiet, it's a little bit more quiet, obviously, especially when you get into that certain neighborhood. Going right back, you have your different track apps for my races out there. You have your acceleration timer, brake performance, line lock, lap timer, and your different start options, which is drag race countdown and racetrack countdown as well. Coming back, you have your gauges, configured gauges. You have your air and fuel, axle oil, cylinder head, oil, engine oil, inlet air, transmission oil, vacuum and voltage as well. So there's not one gauge that you're gonna miss at all my color is the color that I was telling you about right now you have your primary color you can choose between blue orange red or you can choose my color going to my color create your color these are the variety of colors that we have to offer and you can choose up to three that's Com awesome. completely up to you primary color is gonna change really the display of it so when you come over here it's gonna be orange Going back over here to my color, secondary color, so I want purple. As you can see, the kind of different purple um, appearance uh, as of yeah. right here. You can choose your color, so however you like it. Ambient light, you can dim it, and also the different colors, ice blue, white, green, purple, blue, and orange. You can also do my color as well. So when I do red, it's going to be red on the floorboards, the door handles, the cup holders, and then when you open up the door, it's going to be red on the Mustangs as well. That's so it's going to be red everywhere. 
and that's just going based off the digital dash as you can see right there you can access your music fm and am am fm and sirius xm radio your navigation you can through do through the digital dash as well and the whole nine yards you can do through the digital dash so pretty much everything is through the digital dash you don't really have to touch this screen at all huh not technically um really going to navigation if you wanted to use the navigation you can access it through here by pressing nav on the steering wheel okay and if you have your home and set as home you can press my home no match is found as of right now that it'll take you directly towards there okay and you can see your previous destinations and everything like that obviously it's voice navigated so you can simply just tell it to go somewhere that's totally awesome and that's just going on the driver's side with your paddle shifters as well can't forget that the two gauges that only the performance package has is your oil your oil pressure and then your vacuum these are the only two gauges that are going to be in the performance package you won't get them in any other mustang unless you do it aftermarket wise so how much horsepower is this thing pulling this was pushing high 400s just okay. really stock obviously if you go down to an eco boost not comparable at all okay but it doesn't matter if it's a performance package or really a base model gt they all perform the, the, the exact same with the gt premium obviously you have your luxury feelings so if you have your heated and cooling seats as well. Which feels awesome. Yeah. Cool I mean, seats right now. If we're in Texas, man. You yeah. Can't, you can't, can't really beat, you can't really beat, beat it. Up. Comes with the navigation. Also, we have Ford Pass. Ford Pass is an app you download on your phone where you can remotely start your vehicle to the touch of your phone. And also, if you go to Ford Pass right here on the radio, you have vehicle hotspot, which oh. is powered through the app as well. That's pretty neat. That's it has it has remote start, so you can start your if you're get off of work every day at six thirty, your vehicle is going to turn on every day at six thirty, Monday through Friday, or at whatever days you want, and it will turn on for at least thirty minutes automatically by itself. Automatically, you can set it up through the app, and it, I mean, it's so convenient. Dang. So, I'm looking at the back seat. The back seat looks like you can only fit a car seat back there. You, you can fit a car seat. I am six one and um. I'm, Unfortunately, my head kind of hits the window, uh -huh. but I mean if you're desperate to ride in the vehicle, you're gonna adjust to it Right, guaranteed. right, right. <laughs> and uh, what about that engine, bro? That engine sound. Let's go look at it So so far I do like the wheels. I don't like the side the back seats But 5.0 here's your 5.0 stock 5.0. I mean if I had enough gas in this vehicle, I'll show you the 0 to 60 through the acceleration timer. So, I mean, we'll save that for a different day. Unless you want to get into another Mustang and we'll go for a test drive. Man, let's just take it in the parking lot. Take it in the parking lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. All right, y'all. So, so far, what I like about this Mustang is the look and the sound of the mufflers and all that. But it's a Mustang, man. But it is comfortable. It is very comfortable. I'm 5'9", he's 6'1", and it is pretty comfortable. So, um, right now, we're not gonna do too much driving because one, it's late, and two, you know, we're just trying to see what to do. So far, it definitely does ride pretty smooth. Um, it is pretty comfortable. Like I said before, it does feel like the seats just hug you. Um, we're not gonna go too fast. We're just driving in the parking lot. And, oh yeah. It definitely has some get up and that's always a plus for me. Like the get up is definitely a plus for me. Also with the GT Premium, you're gonna have your LED lighting, so no more of that yellowish look. That's that's way out of here. So right now we're just gonna kind of do manual mode. As okay. you can see, the ambient light on the oh, floorboard, the door handles, cool. and the cup holder as well. I like it. I like so it. So right now, my favorite sweet spot for the 5.0 is your first first gear 20. Mm -hmm. We'll do it right after this stop sign right here. That's really my sweet spot for getting the most out of this vehicle. Uh -huh. You have your first gear 20, second gear 40, third gear 60. Okay. And when you do the when you do the manual shifting through the paddle shifters, it automatically rev matches for you. So I come over here, I'm gonna turn around. Wow. Wow. I mean we 
just hit 60 and I can't tell you how fast. I guess that was like three seconds. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. So the Mustang just shocked me, y'all. It, it shocked me. It definitely just shocked me. I was, that was exciting. But look, man. Wanna go for another run? We can save it for another time, man. We can definitely save it for another time. You know, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. I will be dropping Nate's information down below. And of course, we're gonna come back because this is my Ford guy. You know, I got some trucks that I need to test drive. I got some Expedition, some mom cars, some dad trucks, you know, everything. I'm gonna get into everything. So don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that post notification bell, and thanks for watching. Take it easy.